Hey, good Tuesday morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. Welcome to the MLive Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Consumers Energy. And we have a strong cold front coming through now in the northern part of Lower Michigan into this afternoon and this evening in the southern part of Lower Michigan. And it's very likely that it's going to have a pretty solid squall line along that. So let's get to it and uh, show you the timing of that. Remember, the, the uh, severe storms possible today and at this time of the year, very dependent upon heating from the sunshine prior to the thunderstorms. So the sunshine in the southern part of the state will fuel the, the strength or the potency for the thunderstorms. And as the second half of the evening comes in, temperatures cool and the storms lose their potency. So right now, a uh, squall line approaching northwest lower Michigan. In fact, there's a severe thunderstorm warning for uh, parts of Leelanau County, Benzie County, um, around the Thompsonville area. So you can see that line pushing into the northwest corner of the state. That's why I also think that's running a little bit earlier than what the models have predicted by about two or three mile, uh, two or three hours. And so I'm actually thinking that everything, everything might be running a little bit ahead of schedule. Uh, satellite picture shows it very nicely. You can see the clear skies in the southern two thirds of lower Michigan. That will fuel temperatures heading into the 80s. And you could see the bumpy thunderstorms developing across um, northeast Wisconsin. That's the line of storms developing. The National Weather Service says that uh, there's a severe thunderstorm warning for Benzie County, Western Grand Traverse County, Manistee County until 930. Uh, at uh, 857, the severe thunderstorms were uh, from Frankfurt, uh, southward, 60 mile an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail possible. And that includes also the Interlochen State Park. So if you're in that region, you're going to definitely want to uh, take cover, get out of the camper as these storms roll on through. All right, now here's a look at the severe weather chances for today. And you can see just about all of lower Michigan in the possibility of severe weather. Now, remember I told you about timing and I'm gonna show you the radar forecast here in just a moment. But um, as the storms get into the far southeast part of the state, Ann Arbor, Detroit, Monroe, that probably will be eight or nine o'clock and they'll be losing their steam. So what we're gonna forecast is the increase in intensity up into the early afternoon uh, a solid intensity at probably severe levels from, say, 2 in the afternoon to 6 in the evening, and then a decrease in the intensity. Now, here's the Storm Predictions uh, Center's update from earlier this morning. We'll have an update later this morning. I'll, I'll share that with you. But 2% uh, chance of an isolated tornado within 25 miles of a given point. So we warn you about that. You know, I don't know if I should go down this rabbit hole, but here's the thing. A lot of people say, why do you warn us about 2% chance of a tornado? Why do we worry about a virus that has 1% chance of killing you? Because it's still a significant chance, even if it's a low chance and it's a significant outcome in your life. So we do warn you at 2% chances of a tornado. Uh, wind, 15% chance of uh, damaging wind gusts within 25 miles of a point. And that would be what's, what's considered a severe wind gust officially is 58 miles an hour or greater. And then there is a chance for up to quarter size hail. So let's get into the model here now and again i feel like maybe this is maybe this is two to three hours uh too slow on the arrival of storms based on the fact that here's the nine o'clock 
forecast, okay? And the storms at the 9 o'clock forecast were not expected to be on land already, and they are. So they're 30 miles ahead, okay? So let's go into late morning, 11 o'clock, noon. And so in my theory, that could already be toward Houghton Lake and Ludington at noon. 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as we get into the late afternoon, that's when the models want to reinvigorate, if that's a word, uh, the line of thunderstorms, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. So we're talking 5 or 6 in Grand Rapids, but it might be a little earlier than that. It might be 3 to 4. Also, Saginaw Bay City, Midland, uh, talking 3, 4, 5 o'clock. And that's when storms will be the strongest. Uh, hey, nice crowd on here. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And let's keep going here. So this would be uh, a 7 o'clock on the model forecast. Solid squall line, the thumb through the Tri-City, Saginaw Bay City, Midland, approaching Flint, uh, down through Lansing, through Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, and the southwest corner. And uh, 8 o'clock. Starting to head into Flint, starting to head into the solid lean of the thumb, uh, Battle Creek, Lansing, uh, southwest corner, maybe approaching Ann Arbor and Detroit. And again, if this is running a little slow compared to the actuality, uh, you might be into it by 6 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock. Uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and you see right there the models, how they forecast the decay of the storms as we get to 9 and 10 o'clock. Very common at this time of the year. You lose the heating of the day and the storms uh, start to lose their potency. And again, that is why the southeast corner right now, the far southeast corner, Ann Arbor, Detroit, Monroe, has the least chance of severe weather across our region. Uh, Tanya and Eggs, what about Schwartz Creek? I would say you're probably, probably as early as 3 more likely four, five, six o'clock. Hey, good morning, in Sterling, Michigan, and Pauline Shoulders. Uh, what time in Monroe, Michigan, Deborah Kelly? So you would be in the six to nine o'clock storms falling apart at that time. Tom Luffler, Jackson, you're probably looking at as early as four, but more likely five to seven. Um, Brooke Eagle doesn't need this stuff. She went without power for five days last time, so it doesn't need it. Um, yeah, someone mentions that uh, out of school time, this could be uh, from the Grand Rapids area to Saginaw Bay City, Midland, Mount Pleasant. It could be a three, four o'clock in the afternoon type thing, uh, possibly generating some damaging wind gusts, possibly if there's little bows in the uh, storm system, that's where an isolated tornado can develop. And let's look at uh, temperatures, and then we can go back and answer some individual questions. Got a nice crowd here. We'll give you a little update. But temperatures, obviously warm ahead of the front in the low 80, low to mid to upper 80s in the far south. Monroe, Detroit, you're a darn near summertime today. Then behind the front, we cool off. 60s in the north, Traverse City, Cadillac, Houghton Lake. Big Rapids tomorrow, 70s in the south half. Then that cooler air creeps down a little farther. Might have some uh, parts of Oakland County only hit 68 or 69 by uh, Thursday. Friday, back into the low to mid 70s. Saturday, back to the low 80s in the southern part and uh, maybe even warmer on Sunday. And then another cold front sometime Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday looks like it could be warm, and then that cold front comes through, and we cool down once again. So there was talk about an extended hot spell. I don't think so. The far southern part of the state, maybe three or four, 82 to 87 degree days starting this weekend and early next week. But we're kind of getting into a well-defined pattern of a cold front every three or four days, and each cold front will have about two degrees cooler weather behind it here for the next month or so. Let's just go back to the uh, 
high resolution rapid refresh i've got the new run coming in right now so i want to update you and see how it's changed and that's the reason why we like the high resolution rapid refresh it comes in every hour so see now it's forecast for nine o'clock a lot closer to where the position actually was okay uh, amy joe loves the weather from being here from georgia i could believe it uh, michelle boucher what time is it going to hit where uh what time for d ford uh you're probably looking at the afternoon but let's look at this newest run here so this is 11 o'clock. I like this timing better. This is noon. This is 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So in the Tri-Cities, you're looking at 3, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. So still wants to maybe do one line across the northern part of the state, and then by 6, 7 o'clock, a second line coming from Grand Rapids through Saginaw, Flint, the Thumb. And this is 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. So it still wants to weaken it at 9 or 10 o'clock. So I will keep you updated. Uh, let's see, April Smith, what time, Gladwin? Gladwin, you're going to be in the northern sector of this, so you could get it fairly early. You could get storms in Gladwin by, by noon already, or 1 o'clock, certainly by the latest. How bad of a storm for Jackson? Sorry, I missed it, Laura Jean. Well, Jackson is on the very southern edge of the possibility of isolated strong wind gusts, isolated tornado. I would say Jackson, it's going to be on its weakening stage as it gets toward Jackson, uh, but it could still be a very vigorous thunderstorm that you have to take cover for maybe 15 minutes or half hour interior part of your home, of course. We'll be covering it here on M Live. If you are around and it starts to look nasty, uh, get on Facebook, jump on Facebook, and maybe I'll be uh, covering that for you there. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa with the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. Thanks for joining me this morning. Watch for post updates this afternoon on the website, MLive.com, and watch for possible, probable live updates at some point in the afternoon and the evening hours. Take care, everyone.